Hey, welcome to HSC. It's Brian Sanders again, and today I'm super excited to talk to y'all about calculating spray drone coverages and productivity. This crunches out into how many acres in an hour you'll be able to effectively spray and how that varies between chemicals or pesticides and the drone. So let's jump in. First important thing, there's gonna be another video soon. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already posted. That's all about interpreting and understanding pesticide labels. Be sure to check that out. There's a ton of information about why aerial sections of labels are different than the ground label and why you might be currently putting out way more volume than what you think you can do with a drone. And that might be the case, but it might also not be. So we'll start today with understanding the, the chemical label is the law. We always go by that. You're gonna specifically read the product label for the pesticide or pesticides you're using, looking for the aerial section. Again, another video oh, and a whole deep dive on that, so check that out. All right, the math. The first thing we need to know is what's the max system flow rate of that drone? There's also gonna be a video, or there might be by the time you're watching this, about pattern, spray patterns and nozzle selection, because the type of nozzles you have will impact the actual swath of the aircraft. That's the other part. It will also impact, depending on the type of drone you're using, it could impact flow rate. On a pressure-based or hydraulic nozzle, it will definitely impact flow rate. On a rotary atomization or peristaltic pump setup, it will not impact flow rate. Then we're gonna do the math. So again, I know you're like, what? So watch those other videos, okay? Try to keep these short uh, and um, focused. All right which is not good for me if you can't tell. The first example we're using here is a Roundup herbicide example. On the higher side of the typical aerial labels at three gallons per acre, a 25 foot swath for the drone in the example, two gallons per minute of a total system flow rate at the pump with the nozzles, and a six meter per second speed, flight speed. That's 19 feet per second. All right, so how do we do the math? One acre. Loosely, 208.71 feet long, 208.7 feet wide. So we take the width of that acre and divide it by our swath. So we take 208.71 divided by our 25 foot swath. That tells us we're gonna have nine passes. Now we need to know how long will it take us to run each run? 11 seconds per pass. That's what we're taking the length of that field divided by the feet per, should say second on there, disregard that feet per second, okay? 11 seconds per pass times nine passes means it'll take us 99 seconds. We'll divide that by 60 to get us into the minutes. 1.65 minutes per acre. That's the first thing. That's kind of our starting setup. So then we look at, okay, we've got to get three gallons out in that acre and we've only got two gallons per minute. So 1.65 minutes times two gallons per minute, we'll actually end up getting out about 3.3 gallons applied on that acre, so just over the minimum that that label said. One rep, at, again, 1.65 minutes per acre. Then we're gonna calculate how many tank refills we need. Now, I know I'm going quick here, but if you ever need, you can slow this video down or pause it so you can really grok the math here. You can also restart it, all that good stuff, okay? And I've got some assumptions that I'm gonna show you in a moment too. So now we're gonna calculate how many tank refills we need. At 3.3 gallons put down in that acre, but our capacity is 4.22. In this example, we're using the XAG V40 drone from the hardware standpoint. Again, this varies based on the drone. Uh, that means we won't need any refills uh, on that one acre, but that 4.22 gallons actually will cover about one and a quarter acres and still getting out that 3.3 gallon per acre rate. Now we're gonna round high on the refill time between times that we're on the ground. The ground time is the most important factor. Check out our other video about our drone standoff where we compare the XAG and the DJI drones and really talk about why ground time is so important. But I'm gonna ballpark here, three minutes per each refill. So on 25 acres of this herbicide application, that means about one point one and a quarter acres we got 19 refills, okay, to hit that 25 acres times three minutes is about 57 minutes of ground time, okay? 25 acres times the 1.65 minutes per acre brings us into about 41 minutes plus the 57 minute refill time takes us out to about an hour and a half, a little past an hour and a half 
to do those 25 acres. That puts you out at about 15 acres per hour. Now, some assumptions and things to keep in mind. Food for thoughts. First, the swath of that aircraft will likely be wider than what I'm using in this example, which means you'll get higher productivity. As kind of a culture, we always like to round down and be conservative. We love our customers being thrilled when they get the product out in the field. Like, oh my gosh, it was way faster than I thought, or this is way better. We don't like to give people pie in the sky numbers and, and, and say that things are going to be 10 times better. We want to be realistic. Much rather have you be surprised in a good way than in a bad way. We also use the desired solution rate to guesstimate on the speed. Now, this, this is so critical. This is really good for you as you're shopping or comparing and figuring out what kind of drone to buy or what's the best solution. A lot of videos on that too. But you got to start somewhere. And if you don't have the drone, you might not have access to the application. But the apps on these drones calculate all this stuff for you, which is awesome. It'll automatically calculate how many refills you need, how long it's going to take, all that stuff with the flow rate at the pump. It's all handled by the app. But this is just some, some math that you can do on your own to figure out your own productivity. The, also, the ground time target really, once you're up and running and good, you should be on the ground for no longer than 90 seconds. And that's very doable. That cuts that time that I quoted down in half. That's a big, big, big deal. Most herbicides that will go that on the label, on the aerial label, will go down at about one to three gallons per acre. So I'm really using the high side of a, of a typical herbicide label. Um, you know, if you figure you're down to one or even two gallons per acre, you're gonna easily, plus you're down to your 90 second crunch time on your ground, you're gonna easily be past 30 acres in an hour. Last assumption here, this doesn't account for those times at the very end of the row where the drone is turning in a circle and it also doesn't account for ferry times. Still, it's a pretty conservative figure for you. Let's move on to a really high volume application like an insecticide. This is using Intrepid, the insecticide, very common in vineyards at 20 gallons per acre. So not three as before, but 20. Much narrower swath because in this application, contact is critical, coverage is king. So we're actually gonna have a lot of coverage. We're gonna be flying a lot slower. We also slowed our flow rate down for a couple reasons. Now people always think, Okay, I'm going to have to fly so slow to be able to dump that 20 gallons in that area. Yes, maybe, but generally in testing, it shows that you're actually way more effective to fly at a more, you know, moderate, a more typical speed, in this case, like three meters a second, and actually just do the, the pass several times. You might do that around two or three times. So let's check it out. Again, same math here. Now, in this case, because our swath is narrow, we're gonna take 21 passes and it's gonna take us 21 seconds per pass because we're traveling slower. So this, we're looking at 7.42 minutes to do one acre. It's way faster than a lot of other methods out there. Also much slower because of our higher volumes here than we were looking at in herbicides. All right, now 7.42 gallons is what it took. In that time, we're getting one gallon per minute right? And it took us 7.42 minutes. So in that case, over 7.42 minutes, we got 7.42 gallons out of our pump, but we need 20. Okay. So if we take 20 gallons divided by 7.42, we're going to do about three reps on that field. And the app, the, op, the operator will just hit repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Also a lot more refills, right? Because this gallon of uh, the capacity is 4.22. So we're looking three reps, 7.42 minutes each run, about 22 minutes to do that acre at that high volume, okay? Now, how many tank refills will we need? We're gonna need about five of them to do to get that, that 20 gallons out. Again, I'm rounding high. Round high on the refills again, five refills, 15 minutes, 22 minutes plus 15 is about 37 minutes on this acre to get out that 20 gallons per acre. 10 acres, for example, 37 minutes a piece, you're looking at about six hours to crunch out that 10 acres. Again, the same assumptions applied as earlier. And, and what I really, what I think is more typical and what you'll actually find in this formula, bringing that refill time down in half, which is a big deal, um, you know, you'd probably be closer to four hours-ish realistically to hit those 10 acres. Um, faster than a backpack? Heck yeah. More thorough, more even coverage than a backpack? Absolutely. 
um, faster than a Venturi or an air blast sprayer, maybe, depending on your terrain, depending on the operators it takes, the labor it takes, soil compaction. There's a lot of factors you want to think about. Time is money, of course. Productivity is important, but it's not the only factor. All right, so questions. Check out our other YouTube tutorials and videos and walkthroughs. Chat with us on our website, or you can call us if you need help. We're really proud to be unbiased experts in this arena. We sell all of the best brands. If we can't guarantee it, we won't sell it. We've been in this business since 2009, and we've got full services. We help you with FAA approvals, training, leasing, financing, the whole thing. Thanks for watching. I hope this was super helpful. And be sure to subscribe and keep an eye on our YouTube page for future videos. Thanks for watching. See you later.